good afternoon. Also, before we get on with the vlog, I want to say thank you so much to Abercrombie for sponsoring this vlog. I am so excited. You guys know I am a huge Abercrombie fan. I wore their jeans all throughout the entire weekend in Vegas. I'm literally wearing a sweatshirt from them right now that I bought. I think I got this last Black Friday one. This is like one of my favorite sweatshirts ever. They have the best clothes, like comfy clothes, activewear. I also went shopping a couple days ago online on Abercrombie. That's besides this video, but I got some really cute fall items. I'm gonna really try and step up my fall fashion. I got some cute new knee-high boots if you guys saw on TikTok. And I got like a midi denim skirt. I got some cute like cashmere sweaters. So much cute stuff on there, but we'll get back into that later. But yes, I just wanted to say thank you so much to Abercrombie for working with me because I love you so much. And yes, as I said, it's Sunday. We are back obviously from vacation and we've got a lot of like grocery shopping we have to do. The fridge is pretty much empty. We need to do some grocery shopping. Also, I am doing a really big food video. I'm so excited about it on Tuesday. So today and tomorrow, I need to do a lot of prep for it. I'm basically gonna be like a sushi chef for my friends. So I'm really stoked. I wanted to do that for so long, but that requires a lot of prepping. So we're gonna go shopping for that. As I said, regular grocery shopping. I wanna stop into Home Goods maybe. And then I gotta go pick up a prescription at CVS. So that is what's going on. Oh, also I wanna go to Starbucks and get a little fall drink because it feels so late, but it's 2 p.m. right now and I'm pretty tired. So I need to get some caffeine and we will hit up all of the shopping. Cal's coming with me. So it'll be a fun little couples trip to the grocery store. Let's go. I'm just saying I got dressed first. Yeah, well, <laughs> we I are, look better. We are that couple. No, that's not true. <laughs> I'm wearing my Abercrombie. We are that couple that goes shopping on Sundays, like does all of our Sunday errands, dress the same, holding hands in unison. It's gotten to that point. I swear we're not normally <laughs> like that, I promise. He walked down, I was like, okay, I guess we're going. But we are at Starbucks. Are you gonna get anything? I want a fall drink. It feels cold outside. I love fall. It's like my second favorite season, but I don't like pumpkin drinks. So I feel like I can't really get into the, the the fall vibes as much as I would like to. I tried the apple one. It tasted like a candle. So I think I'm just going to go with my brown sugar shake and espresso. Brown sugar shake and espresso. Uh, two of those, please. And then one ham and Swiss croissant, please. Okay. Oh my God, we got the same drink too. <laughs> Thank, Thank you so you. much. <laughs> I'm just getting the same drink wearing the same outfit. <laughs> All right, we got the goods. Cal and I got our matching brown sugar, shaken espresso, oat milk, whatever these things are called. Woo! Brown sugar, oat milk, shaken espresso. Mmm. Hits every time. And then we're sharing this ham and cheese croissant because it looked fabulous on the menu. Oh, look at that. Mmm-hmm. Mmm-hmm. This is fantastic. I think it's new. I've never tried it. Yeah. Let's go. It's like cheesy and doughy. Rule number one, never go grocery shopping on an empty stomach. So, little sustenance. See you at Costco. We've made it to Costco. One of my favorite deals ever that they have here. For $19.99, you get all these razor refill things. These are like the only razor refills that I'll use. These ones with the lotion bars. I've been using them since I like started shaving, essentially. I'm a Gillette girly through and through. And what a deal, because these are expensive. Woo! Look at this. I've never seen a bigger bag of hot Cheetos. Cal, look at this giant. This is the biggest bag I've ever seen. Oh my God, you guys. The Christmas stuff is already out and I'm so excited for Christmas this year. I haven't told you yet, but Cal's family is actually coming to stay with us this year, which I'm so excited about. And I want to like deck the house. Oh my God, things are so cute. They've got Poppy. We love Poppy. We're getting some Ziploc bags and paper plates. I'm here for the good good peeled garlic. I love asparagus. Don't love the way it makes that pea smell though. I like a chunky asparagus though. These are so small. Considering how much delicious food we ate in Vegas, Cal and I are ready for some vegetables. Should we get mushrooms? We love mushrooms. Want a button or a Bella? Bella. Okay, what'd you find, babe? Queso crunch salad. Queso crunch salad, that's got your name written all over it. Fucking up. I need some butter lettuce for the video. And it's such a good deal here. There we go. Those look gorgeous. I don't see any Brussels sprouts and I really wanted those. So we'll have to get those at a different store. But we got a lot of veggies. You know I'm a soup girl. This looks amazing. Gonna get this. Ooh, they got a broccoli cheddar too. Bone broth. Chicken queso soup. Yum. I love this brand. Cal loves a good sample. <laughs> They've got Korean stuff. We've got a kimchi hot pot udon. Kimchi fried rice. Oh, no, ramen. Okay. Oh, teriyaki sorry. stir fry. Yum. Yum. I got a sample of the queso chicken soup. It's good. <gasps> I love a pumpkin pie. 
I really want one. It's just so big. I can't eat that. Now for the main reason that we're here. I thought it was not here, but luckily Cal's tall and he could see it from far away. The sea bass. They actually have the cod over there, but I prefer the sea bass. So I got to get this marinating tonight for dinner on Tuesday. That looks good. It's fab. Cal got the gold second to last chicken. There we go. My fave tortillas. This is my dream come true. Look at this. It's a box of different shapes of pretzels. <gasps> I love pretzels. Found these lightly breaded chicken strips. They're like huge on protein, low on carbs, gluten free, good for like a salad. I saw this on my Costco account that I follow, like that shows new things. They have mango sticky rice now. That looks amazing. I found frozen lychee. I've never seen these before. They're already like peeled and de-seeded and I thought it'd be fun to blend it up with like maybe juice or like tea and make it like a slushy. This sounds good. Fall decor shopping time. I brought Cal along so he can have a say in our decor pieces because I don't want to go ham and have Cal hate it obviously, but like so cute. Oh my God, that's so cute. Look at this little trick-or-treating basket. I want it. Not even going trick-or-treating, but I want it for Holden. I thought these were cute the last time I came. So I got a hard no on the booze. That is cute. Your buddy. Your buddy. But where would we put it? I don't know. <laughs> oh my God, see, okay. I also wanted a wreath, I told you guys, a couple vlogs back. Oh my God, little Halloween hand towels. See, okay, should I just commit to the Halloween of it all? Home sweet haunted house. No, we're not manifesting that. <laughs> That's cute. Cal has his input. <laughs> Look at these little succulents. That's adorable. Cal likes this hand soap, and I like this hand soap. <laughs> that is so cute. Cotton candy sponge sugar, yummy. I think these are cute and Cal is walking away because he's against my love for Ray Dunn. I'm leaning in. We all know I'm Chugi and I don't care. Chugi queen, I support Miss Ray. Miss Dunn. This little potions teapot. Wait, there's this new meme going around on TikTok. Wait, film me. This is girl shopping, are you ready? And this, this is me to a T. This is so cute. And I do that every you time. You do that all the time. <laughs> I found more Ray Dunn hand towels. I just have to say, Miss Ray, look how plush these are. So we got Hocus Pocus, Trick or Treat for the bathrooms and the kitchen. Love it. Oh, these are cute, Cal, with the bats for the couch. Freaking bats. No, I love that. That's Daisy Mama Luna. You're so right. They're the ghoul gang. Is that Ray Dunn? Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's Ray Dunn. Actually, it's not. It's Sheffield home. Oh, sorry, Sheffield. Cal's upset I don't like ghoul gang. It's cute. Look, it's perfect. It's really cute. It's ghoul gang. It is cute. I think this one's cuter, though. Everyone's going to comment below and be like, Cal was right. Ghoul gang is cuter. Like, I am right. Well, it is I'm cuter. Right. It is cuter, but I think this, I like this more. I'm really having a hard time committing to a wreath. I just can't choose one that I love. So I'm gonna keep waiting till I find one that I like. Found some cute ceramic pumpkins for a fabulous deal. Look at this, $7.99 for that. So cute. How do you turn it on? We agreed on a piece of decor. We like this stack of jack-o'-lanterns. Oh, I think we need batteries. But it can oh, turn yeah. on. Yeah, we gotta put batteries in the bottom. Okay. I like it. Oh, I like it. We found a cute little candy jar. Look how cute these little ghost cookie jars are. <laughs> All right, I ran over to the regular grocery store to grab anything that I couldn't get at Costco in bulk. It's gourd season. I got butternut squash, spaghetti squash, delicata squash. I'm so excited. Look at the size of this one. I wish I knew what to do with that. I wish I had a recipe for that. That's crazy. Hello, guys. Okay, we're home. We just cleaned up everything, sorted through everything, put everything in the fridge. And now I'm going to meal prep a bunch of stuff. Oh, no. I just found this sweet potato I bought. It has a big cut in it, but that's okay. I love Costco produce because it's so inexpensive, but I found that it goes bad much quicker than other produce. I'm sure it's just like not the best quality, but it's so inexpensive, it's fabulous. So I'm gonna meal prep a bunch of stuff so that it's pretty much ready to go and we can just throw it into salads or eat them on their own or throw them into meals or whatever throughout the week. I'm gonna roast the onions and tomatoes kind of like Mediterranean style, like season them up and let them be nice and delicious. Got some Brussels sprouts, asparagus, broccoli. I'm gonna do all the same to that, just like roast them all up. They're so good in salads or whatever. I'm gonna roast the sweet potatoes and then on the side, I'm also going to chop up these little mini sweet peppers and these little cucumbers and I'm gonna mix it with some of this miso ginger dressing. This was a TikTok recipe that I saw that people were going crazy for and it's just like a nice light refreshing salad that you can have on the side. Throw in like shrimp, make it, you know, protein pack, sort it through everything else and I'm gonna also roast up the delicata squash and the butternut squash, I think with these. Or maybe I'll save the butternut to make gnocchi and then just roast these on their own. Not sure, I'll keep you guys updated and I'm gonna peel the, or not peel, but shred this rotisserie chicken so we have chicken throughout the week too. Fabulous, easy cooking.
cooking. Let's go. Updates, guys. I am cooking up a storm. It's been like less than a couple hours and I'm almost done. I have to prep the fish for the sushi night and I'm gonna peel the chicken. Why do I keep forgetting how to say it? Shred the chicken. But here's what we got going over here. I just have these little like food safe little containers for storage and for leftovers. So I'm using them for all of our different things we made. So I have some roasted broccoli here. Honestly, I should probably do more considering I'll go through this in like a couple days, but I've got roasted garlic. I burnt it a little bit. I'm making fresh ones right now that hopefully won't get as burnt, but I'm still gonna eat it, obviously. Brussels sprouts, asparagus. All of the veggies are just simple with like olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder. So they can go with any dish. Here is our cucumber miso pepper salad. Just pour the dressing over the veggies, add it on some everything but the bagel seasoning and a little rice vinegar and then letting that sit and marinate and be delicious. We've got our roasted onions, our roasted tomatoes. These look fabulous. I shredded all the onions up and I will go through this so fast. In the oven, we have more garlic, as you can see on the second little layer. And then we have the squash and the sweet potatoes in there. I'm gonna toss those soon. And then as I said, I'm gonna shred up this chicken and then I'm going to get working on the fish. And then I'm gonna have dinner. For dinner, I am doing some of that salad with some of the rotisserie chicken, some avocado, and then a little more everything but the bagel on top. Taste test of everything. Mmm, mm-hmm. Refreshing, delicious, really good. I think as it sits more in the dressing, it'll soak up that flavor more, but for now, it's really good. Good morning, I'm still waking up. I made a caramel almond milk latte. Really good. Hi, babe. Do you wanna show them your breakfast you made? It looks oh amazing. It looks so good. Gorgeous. He's also wearing his Packers Abercrombie shirt. And I made a chicken sausage and two eggs. I'm trying to have more protein in the morning. Also, look, it's gonna be a fabulous day. There's a happy face on this sausage. Oh, hot. Delicious. You guys, please look at my lashes. Now, to most people, I know these look like nothing special, but if you are Asian and you have very Asian lashes like myself, then you know this is a miracle. Like the fact that my eyelashes are showing with my eyes open like this. I very rarely in my life have I ever had my natural lashes look at this. Maybe never. I'm so happy. So I just did my makeup and I put some dry shampoo in my hair. If you're interested in the makeup look that I just did, I posted like a tutorial of it on TikTok. So if you guys want to see what I've been doing, check her out. But I've been using an eyelash serum pretty religiously over the past like couple months or so. The one that I've been trying out, which is the Olaplex one, I didn't realize because I didn't read the instructions that you're supposed to use it morning and night. I found that out via someone's TikTok. So in the past week, I started using it correctly and I feel like I've noticed a huge difference, which is so exciting. Before I was just using it at night, like how most eyelash serums are. So I'm seeing results and I'm very happy about it. And I'm so excited because I have a giant pile of Abercrombie clothes right now to share with you guys, which I love their stuff so much. I know I keep saying it, but I, like, I mean it so truly. They have amazing stuff. I'm really excited to try and step up my fashion looks for fall. Personally, for me, I love fall and winter fashion just because I love coats. I love pants. I love sweaters. I love all the accessories and like layering and things like that. In summer, I'm just like so hot all the time that I'm just trying to wear whatever is comfortable to get me through the day and sweat the least amount. So I'm super excited for it to cool down and to be able to wear some really cute pieces. And I guess we'll just get into this haul. First up, I got some new pants, which I am very much looking forward to rocking them this season. So I have some blue skinny jeans. Now I know what you're thinking. Skinny jeans are obviously not as trendy as they once were. And I love a straight leg jean more than the next girl or like a flare jean. I love anything that just like isn't a skinny jean to be honest. But I am very excited for these specific skinny jeans because I think Africa Combi has truly some of the best jeans out there. And if you guys also saw my TikTok, I just got some new extra wide calf boots because I am a girl with very, very wide calves, as you can see, and boots don't often fit me. And I'm very excited to wear them this season. And if I wanna tuck my jeans into my boots, then obviously I need a skinny jeans. So I got this gorgeous pair of skinny jeans. And if you can see, they're pretty short because I have very, very, very short legs. And what I love about Abercrombie jeans or just a lot of their stuff, like they have petite, short, regular, or long so there's different variations for everybody's leg length because obviously those always vary and so these are a 
skinny high rise. My personal favorite, I love a high rise. So I love this shade of blue. I also got another pair of skinny jeans, but in black because I love a black jean, you guys know. Next up, I got these black flare jeans. It's called the Vintage Flare. Again, I got them in short, which I cannot wait. I don't have to pay more money to get my jeans tailored. It's fabulous. And these are so beautiful. I can't wait to wear these like all the time. And then I also got the flare in the blue denim because again, I just love a flare jean so much, especially if you're like me and you have thicker thighs. It's a nice like proportion to flare out. We all know that, but love that. <gasps> ah, I forgot I got this. I'm so excited. Okay. I am most excited this season for midi skirts. I used to stray away from the midi length so much just because I am short and I thought that it would make me look shorter, but I do think if we style this well, it will look really good. So I got this black leather midi skirt. It's got this like slit in the front. I've been seeing so many midi skirts everywhere. I just told you guys, I ordered the denim one. It's coming in a couple days from Abercrombie, but I've been seeing them with boots, with heels, all the sorts of things. And I think it's just like the perfect transition piece from hot weather into colder weather. You guys know I also love a mini skirt. So I got this really cute, just little black leather. I think it's a skirt. Oh yeah, there's some shorts built in. Fabulous. Okay, I love that. I love a mini skirt more than the next girl. So I know I'm gonna wear this all season long with the black boots. It's gonna be so good. I got this adorable cashmere sweater. This is so nice. I can't believe that Abercrombie carries cashmere pieces. But as I said, I really wanna elevate my looks this fall. And I feel like a few nice staple pieces like this will be perfect to low-cal. Next up, I got a couple little wrap sweater tops. These are absolutely adorable. First of all, they're so, 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 so soft, but I know I'm gonna wear these all the time. Again, you can dress them up, you can dress them down. Really nice, it's so soft and thick. Cream one, and then I also got a black one because these are just perfect to throw on. I feel like they make you look so put together, but you really did not try at all, which is my favorite. Cal got this shirt that looks like it has a, is this a bottle of wine? That's cool. I got my cocktail shirt. I love that. And then you got this brown thing too. Oh, what is this? It's like a sweatshirt. Wait, a little sweater. Very nice. Wow, that looks comfy. I like the weightedness yes. of it. Say thank you to Abercrombie. Thank you Abercrombie. <laughs> I also got that cream sweater in baby blue because we all know how much I love baby blue and I'm going to wear this again all the time. And then the last few things that I got, if you guys remember my last vlog that I worked with Abercrombie, they sent me so many amazing activewear pieces and I still love them so much. I've worn them like so many times. I will say since then, I think I needed to go down a size in some of the activewear tops. So I wanted to try this one out before I buy more, but this top is amazing. This is the YPB Studio Soft. Okay, it doesn't have a name, but if you guys are looking for a workout top, get this one. It's got these little Razorback tank top straps and it has some stitching in the front, but this top is absolutely amazing. And again, I just wanted to try this size to see if it'll fit me better than the other one because it's fabulous. It's so supportive. You can wear it like as a normal shirt too, but it's amazing. And then last but not least, I just got two of these cute little like pullover sweatshirt situations. This is from the activewear line again. So it's the YPB brand. It stands for your personal best. This is the YPB Neo knit almost like a neoprene feel but really soft but it's definitely more of like an activewear sweatshirt but I thought this was perfect I love the cropped and kind of like the U shape of it down here at the bottom and I got it in cream and I also got it in taupe because when I work out especially when it's cold outside it's obviously bad to go straight from like sweating out into the cold because your muscles will just like tighten so I love having a thin activewear like sweat wicking sweatshirt to either a work out in or b throw on after a workout when it's colder outside so those are everything that I grabbed if you guys are interested in in any of this stuff or just Abercrombie in general, make sure you go to the Abercrombie website and check out their new arrivals because there are always cute things showing up on there. Trust me. And now I've got a lot of editing to do, so I'm gonna go do that and I will catch you guys later. Bye. Hello guys. Okay, it is later. I got a bunch of work stuff done. I just made a salad for lunch and I forgot to show you guys before I ate it. So I thought I'd show you now while I'm halfway done. I did romaine lettuce and then I added a bunch of stuff that we cooked yesterday. I did the onions, garlic, sweet potato, some Brussels sprouts, chicken, and then I did cranberries, dried cranberries, which I love so much, and pistachios, and then I did some balsamic vinaigrette, and then I mixed it all. Oh, and some goat cheese. Mixed it all up. It's really good. It's like a fun fall salad. I was saying I did romaine because that's what I got at Costco, but I wish I had done like spring mix or something like less crunchy in here because I feel like it needed like a softer lettuce, like maybe like an arugula or like a spring mix. I don't know if that interests anybody, but had that, and then I'm having some of my tea. Ah! 
This is my iced tea that I made with you guys a few vlogs back, but last time I did the strawberry lemonade flavor and this was the blue raspberry. I actually made this before I left for Vegas, so it was sitting in the fridge for like over a week and I wasn't sure if it was gonna be good, but it's delicious. And this I believe is like a butterfly pea tea. Like you guys, have you ever seen that? Should I show you some magic right now? So with butterfly pea tea, it's made from like a specific flower that reacts with acidity. So here's obviously, it's called blue raspberry, but it's like purpley blue. And then if I get a lemon and I squeeze it in, science with Remy, we squeeze it in, the color should change. Magic. Ah, it's changing. Here we go. Now it's purpley pink. Mm. And now my tea has a nice tart zest. That's good. Isn't that crazy? Now it's purple. Okay, just wanted to check in and I will keep you updated. You know what I should do? I should prep some more stuff for tomorrow's video. I'm gonna do that. And I'll catch you guys soon. Bye. Updates, guys. I am almost done making the dessert for tomorrow night, which is matcha creme brulee. I'm just popping these little air bubbles. I've got the ramekins in their little dish. I just need to do the water bath in a second and then bake them and then they're pretty much done. Before we serve, we do the crystal topping, the sugar topping, Topping, and then I'm gonna do fresh whipped cream and raspberries, but it looks really, really, really good. I've made regular creme brulee before. I've never made matcha, but it wasn't much harder. I just had to sift in the matcha and hopefully it turns out delicious, but they look so cute. My water is ready. We've got our boiling hot water. I don't know where to pour this in. Okay, here we go. Pouring it here for our water bath. Takes a lot of patience. So the water bath makes sure that everything cooks evenly and also gives it that custardy texture that we love in a creme brulee. I think we might need a little more water, BRB. Okay, that should be good. And now we carefully place it into the oven and hopefully don't trip. Hello guys, okay, update. Obviously I'm in the car. I just drove over back to Home Goods because in the last clip I knew something was wrong but I didn't care enough to actually like try to fix it and that is my bad because I cooked the creme brulees upside down and basically they didn't cook properly. They came out like crunchy and creme brulee is not supposed to be crunchy until you put the sugar on top. So all that being said, I don't wanna waste the ones that I just made because the ingredients are really good. I still think they're gonna taste good. I used really high quality matcha and all those things. And the last thing I wanna do is just throw that out. So I'm going to try and salvage those, but I need to make a new batch and I don't have any more ramekins. And with the creme brulee, you like eat it out of the ramekin. So I can't like spoon it out and then like, it has to stay in the pot. All to say, back at home goods, I think they'll have some ramekins here for a really good price and I can hopefully redeem myself. I knew something was wrong. I'm so embarrassed. I was just like, I'm sure it'll be fine. It wasn't fine. They're not cooking properly. Also wearing the Crocs out. Fabulous news found a set of four for $6.99. Great deal. Hello guys. It is the next day. Good morning. Hello. Mm -hmm. Luna says good morning. Yes. Okay. So since the last time I talked to you guys, Cal and I just had a super chill night last night. Every night for the past like month, we've been watching at least least like three episodes of Suits a night. Like it is such a good show if you haven't watched it. We've now made it to season six. We seriously like are binging it. I saw we brought the Roku to Vegas just to watch it there. Like it's so good. I love it so much. I look forward to watching it every night. And yes, this morning I've had a nice slow morning. I made myself this protein shake. I did like a chocolate cherry blueberry. I did cherries, banana, blueberries, wild blueberries, all frozen with some ice, almond milk and chocolate protein powder. And it's delicious. And I'm about to officially start my day. I'm gonna change, get my workout in. I have some work stuff to do. And then tonight's gonna be a really fun night. I'm doing the Sushi Chef video. So I cannot wait for that. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. And I will see you guys in the next vlog. Thank you again to Abercrombie for sponsoring this vlog. And I'll see you then. Bye.